Hello and what's up everybody, this is Speed Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we are gonna work with your Flexbox. So Flex is a property of your display type, ok guys. And your Flexbox stands for your flexible box and it is a display type that comes with a wide range of properties, allowing you to rearrange the items on your web page very easily. And you can say it is an alternative to your display float and uh, to uh, other layout properties such as grids and block and many other properties are there. Just yes, for example, box model, grids, and float. And uh, this uh, flex box is consists of your two main items, two main elements. Okay, guys. So first is your the flex container, or and the second one is your flex item. So what the flex container is? Uh, flex container is your parent element in which the display type is active means uh, you have to specify the display is equal to flex in your container and uh, this is usually uh, where we usually use this uh, uh, display we usually use the container as your disk div tag okay guys and next one is your flex items so flex items are you can see it is a child of your flex container because it is in between the flex uh, container and you is uh they make up the your uh, content of the box it means whatever the content you write you have to write in the flex items only okay and you can rearrange them according by using some properties for the ordering and all and you can create a really fancy and looking very responsive website mobile responsive website by just creating a huge flex container and what you can do you can just separate a bunch of items and put all the things in those items the, just as I said before that you can put the uh, images and your uh, layer whatever the stuff you want to put in those items okay all this stuff so it's just a pretty much way to lay out your uh, website and as we know as you all know that um, previously we are working with your load properties to move your image around on a web page or we use margin and pairing to push things up and downs but that's not the efficient way to work with uh, it so you can say the uh, flexbox is a kind of hack for it okay so and using something like flexbox make uh, pretty much less you do what uh, all the things naturally and you can say Alright guys, so this is a little bit uh, intro about your flexbox, so now let's start working with it. So as I told you previously that we, uh, if you are working with flexbox then we need a container and we need a flex items. Ok guys, so I am going to just create a container over here and let's just create a container. So this is your container Lorem, oh uh, sorry, div, as I told you that uh, uh, div tag will going to be we are going to make a div tag a container of your flexbox so as we are working with flexbox so i'm giving a class name of flex sorry container and in between the flex container in between the div, this div tag you have to specify the another div tag with the class name of the flex items the chosen of your flex container so let's just do it uh, flex items and i'm just writing lorem Three, for example. Okay, let's just take one, one, one input because uh, I have to show you something that how it works and all. If I take a huge number of uh, element in between them, it might be difficult for you to understand. So I'm just taking one, one, uh, one word element over here. Okay, so one word text. Uh, and now I'm just create copy this and I'm just copy this and paste it five, four, four or five times over here. Because I'm gonna create five different items in my web page. So this is your two, this is your three, this is your four, and this is your five. I will tell you later on why I have just given this uh, uh, numbering to it because we are going to change the order and all in the later in this video. As you can see, I have just not given any style or anything to it. So let's just go on our styling part and start giving some styling to it. So I'm gonna just grab my container class over here oh shit. okay and 
for making the flex container to your uh, making it flex uh, box you have to specify a display of flex as i told you previously in this video that for making the flex active you have to display the flex in the flex container and after that you have to give uh, let's just give us some background color to it so i'm gonna give a background color for example let's choose for any color uh, basic or big okay this one and i'm gonna okay and then it might not be visible for you so i'm gonna just choose some different color because i'm, I'm gonna give a different color to your uh, web page and if i choose this then your white text a uh, white background is also there i have to change the body color also so i am not just changing the body color i'm just only going to change this for now i'm just choosing one of the color from here so i'm going to just choose for example okay now i'm choosing this one okay and i'm gonna just you give some uh, other properties such as your margin to it so your items will be quite separated from each other and a specific amount of space will be there and i'm just now grab my flex items over here and i'm going to give them a background uh, for example green or blue for example any i'm just giving it blue and i'm changing I'm giving a color of white yeah i like navy and i will give it navy <laughs> and uh, i'm gonna give a font size of 25 pixels and your text align to center and let's just give a line height to it for the minimum space between the two different flex items so let's just give it 100 pixels or 50 let's just give it 50 pixels okay and let's just give a margin of 10 pixels same as uh, we have given uh, our, your flex container and now let's just check our output how it all looks like in our web page okay so now you can see we have uh okay we have not specified a width of it so i'm going to just call it here and i'm going to specify some width to it for example i just gave a width of 70 pixels to each of my items okay now it looks good and i think it is easily visible to you if you are viewing this on mobile also and guys now you can see that uh, let's just uh, change the width of your uh, container because it is a you know, on entire of web, web web page so i'm going to just change this width to uh, for example 300 pixels i'll okay, let's just make it more Seven pixels, I guess. Okay, so this might be looking good. Huh? So now I, I will told you why I choose a small amount of width because we are going to work with the different properties. So I required it to something like this, and I can just give a height to it also. And now I'll just give a height of, for example. 300 pixels now you can see my all items get stretched away okay guys all the items are now stretched on my web page so it, oh, wait for a second guys let me just uh, I'm just removing height because I want to tell you two basic properties of your flex box first is your uh, flex direction uh, by which you can change the uh, your flex items into your arrange the items in the column or row wise so i'm going to just change it to column wise and now you can see my all the uh, flex items are uh, arranged in the column wise over here and now if i just change it to your row then uh, so by by default the flex direction is your row so nothing will change you can you can see there is nothing change over here and you can set uh, one more thing over here you can also type row reverse and now what you can see that your ordering will be reversed uh, 5 4 3 2 1 
previously for one two three four five and now it's over and you can see also that our uh, uh the items uh, has come from uh, pushed towards the right side from the left side similarly you can work with the column reverse also so now you can see the my items are column reverse firstly we are starting with one two three four and now we are starting with five four three two one okay so let's just change it uh, back to no default so i just remove it and now uh, okay guys so it's now looking good and now i'm going to do i'm going to just uh, copy my two or three elements from here to here and let me paste it because okay and let us change the these things from here sorry six five six not nine six and seven and your eight okay okay guys so now you can see like uh your eight items are all present over here and now what i can do i can just uh, specify a property of flex i flex box which is your text wrap flex wrap okay so the, it has two properties or uh, two or three properties same as your uh, flex direction there's so a flex direction has columns and rows it has wrap and no wrap so if i just wrap it now you can see my this uh all have the specific amount of space between in between these two items and now they are not squeezing up squeezing the space for each other and your last L, um, last item is now pushed towards the next line as you can see over here but if i remove this uh, sorry but if i remove this from here and i just change it to no rep which is the default property uh, present in your css uh, so it will uh, all back to normal as it was previously and you can also uh, change it to something like wrap reverse also so now you can see that your 8 will go upstairs and your but all this item will come down previously your 8 was uh, at the bottom and your these items are at the top and as we have used your wrap uh, reverse wrap reverse so now your 8 is over the top and your rest of the items uh, just after it so these are the two basic properties of your flex box and now let's just give it a height as i have done previously so i'm going to give it a height of 300 pixels guys okay okay guys and i'm going to just okay now i'm going to not i'm not going to do anything about it so what i'm going to do here sorry guys so now there are two special properties for your displaying over the web page uh, for the horizontal alignment and you are for vertical alignment so for horizontal alignment what you can do is you can just write the justify content and your justify content have three properties which is your center flex start flex end and which are the three basic properties of your uh, justify content and justify content is used for the horizontal alignment of your items on your web page so if i set it to center for example uh if i set it to flex start you guys so now you can see that okay as we have given the height to it so it will not working i guess so uh, although it is starting with your i guess uh, from the starting only uh, and we have no space left over here that's okay uh let, wait for a second guys let me just remove this for showing you how it all working so as you can see it is starting with the your uh, because your flex start is your the left left uh, left side and your flex end is your right side okay guys because we are moving from the uh, horizontally because that's why your flex start is your left side and flex and your right side so if i just go over here um, by default it is uh, set on flex start and if i just go here and just type the flex end now you can see all the items are pushed toward your uh sorry i i have changed just okay now you can see all the items it has pushed towards your right side okay guys and if i just uh, want to align them in the center then i can just write center and now all the items are in the center 
So uh, by using the justify content, you can uh, float your item from the left uh, horizontally. Okay, you can say you can float your item horizontally. Uh, okay, and uh, there's uh, two special properties also with the your justify content, which is your first is your space between and space around. So you can see now the space between the two items is equal. As you can see, and it is space uh, equally spaced and aligned uh, equally in our web page, in your this container flex container, and by and there is uh, another property which is your space around. So what it does, it will going to give the space from the all side. Uh, and previously, your space between is only giving the space between the two items, but by using the space around. Your left side space will be also present. Your right side space will be also present. And in and the, and one more thing, guys. Uh, that is this is your one item, item one, and this is your item two. So uh, the the space between the item one and item two is the summation of your space, combined space of your item one and item two. Because as you can see, it is a space over here. And if we add this twice, then this is the space. And this this space in between the two items will come over here okay guys i get you understand what i want to uh make you understand what i'm just trying to tell you that the uh, space in between the two items is the combined space of your first item and the second item okay guys so let's just uh, set it to center for now okay guys and now uh, there is one more property uh, which is known as your uh, which is uh, we use for the vertical alignment of your items on your web page uh, uh, but in the flex so which is known as your align items okay uh, it also have the same properties of your flex star flex end and flex center or space around and space between so i'm just going to use the flex star so for now as we all know that uh, as i told you that is a align item is your vertical alignment property so your flex start will be is your top of the container as you can see this is your flex start for the alignment i align items and if you are working with your justify content then this is your flex start and if you are working with align item then this is your flex start or the top of your this so you can uh, understand that uh, your what align items move top to bottom and your uh, justify content will property move float the item from left uh, left to right and your align items move your and items from top to bottom align items moves your item from top to bottom okay guys and as you can see i have specified uh, flex start so now it is on the top because this is your starting of your flex box uh, flex container and if i just uh, change it to flex end over here so now you can see uh, as this is the flex end of your container so now the items are aligned towards the bottom of your container similarly you can set it to center and you have noticed one thing guys that the uh, size of your the height of your items get decrease over here if i just remove this uh, from this over here as you can see i have removed the align items so now you can see uh, your uh, height is over present over here but if i use the align item over here then this height will be uh, gone from here so will be disabled from your the uh, items okay so if you want to give them a separate height then you can use the line height property for specifying it i will show you how to do that later in the video so these are the some properties of your flex items and so now let's just give a space of okay so now what i can do i can change the ordering of this uh, items also so if i want to change the ordering then i have to as i have not given the classes of sorry i have, I have specified the same class over here so i'm gonna just uh, give this some inline style over here to override the uh, your external css style so guys i'm going to 
to teach you one more uh, thing in your this uh, um in this uh that is uh if you want to write a multiple line of code okay guys if you want to line multiple of lines of code in windows or mac so for windows you can you have to press the alt button or if your keyboard and sorry alt button of your keyboard and take the cursor to the next line and press the mouse uh, right button and again right button and again right button and again right button and leave leave your mouse away and now you can see i can write a multiple line of codes from here so i have just given the style and i'm going to change the ordering so i'm just uh, typing like this okay and after that you can just uh, click anywhere to remove that effect and if you this is uh, for doing this uh, you have to put uh, press the your alt button and your uh, mouse uh, right press your mouse in the different line deck, like this like this like this and like this okay guys so uh, by this you can write a multiple line of codes uh, but the code must be same okay guys you can not write the different codes in the multiple lines you have to write the same code in the multiple lines and if you are working on a mac then you have to press the command and then you have to press the command button not the alt button okay guys and I'm now just uh, as you can see in my output that they are ordered in the one two three four five and if I wish to change the ordering then how can I change I can just uh, give it the style of ordering and I can just change three for example uh, and just give it to four and let's give it to five and let's give it to one and let's give it to two and now you can see that according to my this style all the elements will be uh, view all the item will be get your will change uh, orderly according to that now you can see i have specified the ordering of one to it ordering of two to it ordering of three to it ordering of four ordering of five to it so in uh so you can see the power of your flexbox here it means uh previously if we want to move our one items one layout to the uh, next position then we have to uh, copy the whole code or write the really really like the code to uh, change your uh, to float or change the ordering of your layouts but flexbox helps you to uh, change the ordering by just specifying the your uh, uh, style of order and as you can see i have just specified the order and write the number of the your ordering and my all the items flex items get uh, order according to that only so this is the uh, great advantage of your flexbox because we don't have to be like the code for moving your uh, for changing your layouts ordering and one more thing we have here is your flex uh, um, your flex uh, start oh sorry oh, yeah. okay so we have now worked with your justify content align items and all and now I'm going to teach you uh, some other properties of your flex item with, which helps you to make your web page your layouts more responsive because if you are if you have designed a page and if you want to be responsive and if you don't want to change its uh, size or um, if you want, don't want to change the complete layout of your web page then you can use the, uh, some property that I'm just telling about you uh, in this video and this helps you to uh, not to change your complete layout you only have to uh, write uh, some line of code and your layout get changed according to that only so it will help you for your uh, multiple devices uh, means uh, for complete responsiveness if you can uh, I can say that you can work with the same layout on your mobile devices also on your PCs or systems or uh, uh, wide range of your television as you can see um, your tv and etc so and there this uh, size of your layout must be get changed so in this place and that in that in this case uh, for that cases uh, we use your flexbox for making your responsive websites so i'm going to do the same thing over here so i'm going to just press my uh, alt button over here and i'm just 
clicking by my mouse button over here and I'm just pressing the enter because I have to write some multiple lines of code from here so I'm just on the same lines okay so I'm just gonna give a flex so I'm going to specify three properties the first is your flex uh, growth uh, and shrink and your basis as you can see over here we have all the three properties present over here so first is your flex uh, example grow and second is your flex shrink and third is your flex uh, basis okay guys so what basis do is your uh, basis will is same as your width okay guys if you, as I have assigned a width of 70 pixels over here to your items if I just remove it and if I just remove it then you can see the change on my web page that now my items look like this and if I just go here and I put the your flex basis which is these provide the, or the most responsive width according to your web, uh, web pages so I'm just going to change it to 100 pixels for here and now you can see my all the uh, items have the width of 100 pixels and they are more responsive also so now what I'm going to do I'm going to specify the your flex sync and grow so grow will help you for uh, <coughs> Guys, the uh, as uh, let, wait for wait for a second. Guys. Uh, your flex basis, okay. So the flex basis is your minimum width for your flex items, okay, guys. As I told you, uh, the flex uh, width is your flex. Uh, flex basis is your flex uh, width. Means you can see the minimum width of your item will be this. You don't have to specify your width in the styling part. Uh, in differently, you can just come over here and specify your flex basis and it will make the your flex item more responsive <coughs> okay guys and uh, now you just move on to your flex uh, grow so flex grow will help you to uh, make your every flex items is going to get the same amount of extra space as you can see in my web page that here is some space is present over the uh, around my items so if I specify a flex uh, grow to one to all, then you can see the change over here. So I'm just selecting the all to one. I'm just giving all to one, and now you can see <coughs> they all have the um, like all have the extra amount of space but it's equally distributed to all of the items. Okay, guys, you can see over here that all the uh, flex items have now they have get the same amount of extra space and I can if I just uh, go here and I've just changed uh, the for example the your any of your for example I have changed the your this to 3 or 5 I have just changed it to 5 so now what it means that your flex grow 5 means uh, by default it is your 0 and if I just change it to one, uh, one, then all the items will going to get the space of your uh, equal space, a same amount of space. But if I change it to five here, you can see I have changed it to five. So now the uh, flex item, which is your order food, and the item named is your two. Okay, so the two item will now get the five times more space than the rest of the items. Now as you can see over the output that. <laughs> All items have the space of one, 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 and the your uh, so number two L item is now having the five times more space than your this uh, rest of the item. Uh, now here you can you can't see it because it is your it does it doesn't make the more changes in the your output. It just give a little amount of space, add the little amount of space to your. Uh, items okay guys and okay now let, let me show you you if you are not living let's just give it to 50 now you can see and nothing will change over here just a small amount of change will occur so if you want to just uh, make your give you the width of some some more extra space to your element then you have to use the uh, flex go over there okay guys and 
if I want to give them, for example, the flex string, and now what flex string of uh, flex string by default it will be your one, and if you want that your item will not shrink, let me show you first. Okay, guys. Oh, sorry. That if I just uh, shrink it down, shrink my browser, then you can see that. Okay, I have not changed the uh, width of my web browser here. I have not specified width. I guess just change it to three percent for more flexible. Now it might work to I guess. What happening to you? We are. It's not working at all. It means wait for a second, guys. Huh? If I just go over here, okay. I have specified with off to it. Okay, guys. So now you can see that if I just shrink it over down, um, okay. Now you can see the uh, change over here uh, that uh, all our item has got given. Previously, it was not working because I have specified a minimum amount of width to your container, flex container. That's why it is not uh, responsive. It is not working as mobile responsive or any other device responsive. So now I have just removed the width of your uh, flex container and now it will be your. Uh, mobile responsive also so if i just change the width then you can see that at the minimum amount of width the, all the items having the same amount of width and if i just uh, resize it uh, to your previous then you can see my uh, number two item is growing fa five times more faster than the other and taking the five times more space okay sorry it's just taking the five times more space it's not growing faster okay guys I'm going the same as your others so and now uh, what I can do just uh, if I want to give them a if I just want that one item should not shrink uh, as you can see that my all the item is shrinking over here if I just uh, change it to your minimum width then you can see that my items are now getting the same size over here okay guys you can see all the items have the same amount of height and width and if I don't want to uh, same amount of height and width then what I can do just I can just change the flex property flex shrink property over here to your zero for example I have given the flex shrink property to your order three and which is your one okay so now you can see that my this uh, this one will not go into shrink at all if I, even if I just uh, reduce it to the minimum size also that you can see over here my all items get shrink over here but my one has now all one has the same amount of width that I have specified previously, which is your. Uh, let me show you. Uh, sorry, uh, which is your uh, flex basis is your hundred pixels. So now your number one will having the hundred pixels of width, and all other has reduces to the your normal size. And if I just uh, change it change for example I change change to your I'm just making them all to your one I'm just giving them one by default the flex shrink is your one and I will change one to okay so as you can see my five, fifth item which is your this and it will in order of two it will on okay here it is you can see fifth item and now what I wanted uh I'm just uh, just change it to five times. So now what it means that the uh, your this fifth uh, this is this is your fifth uh, item will going to shrink five times faster than your all rest of the elements. Uh, let me show you that uh, if I just uh, start reducing the size of my web browser, then you can see that my element uh, item two is shrinking fast faster than the other elements you can see that it is just shrinking and shrinking and shrinking faster than the other and you can see it is just shrinking it to minimum size it's minimum width it cannot be shrink less than this okay guys so uh, that's uh, in this way you can work with your flex uh, flex box and I hope you guys understand the uh, concept of your flex box and one more thing guys uh, you can just write this 
whole code to into your one line also I'm just uh, pressing my test button and just selecting test and selecting test okay and because I'm just removing this part and I'm going to show you how to how you can write this uh, multiple line of code in one line uh, by just specifying the flex to it uh, specify a single line to it okay so specify the uh, name your flex and in between this uh, after this you can specify uh, your flex grow flex uh, and shrink and basis in the same line so first you have to specify your grow then you have to specify your shrink and then if you specify your basis okay guys so uh, let's uh, let me specify so I just want my flex grow to one by default and shrink it to one and I can I want my flex size for example 100 pixels and if I just change it to 5 for example my flex shrink is now 5 and this is my flex uh, grow which is your 3 for example so now you can see my output uh, that it will work as same as previously for working that okay, that if uh, uh, my item 2 has given the uh, number, five times more space than the rest of the items and that uh, all other have the spaces of one 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 so if I just shrink it now you can see that my item 3 is shrinking faster than the rest of the item and it will reduce it to minimum size because I have changed the because I have given the your flex uh, Okay, wait for a second there. Uh, your flex shrink, okay, flex shrink to five. That's why it is shrinking five times more faster than the other rest of the item. So, so guys, uh, these are the some few properties of your flex box, and the, the let's just work with uh, one more property of your flex box, which is your flex items. As you can see over here, that the align items is also available. And similarly, just like the align item, so we have the flex item for aligning, sorry, align self for aligning your items. Okay, sorry, not flex item, it is your align items. Align self is similar to your align items, it, it, it is known as align self. So I'm just removing this, uh, your, this part from here. So I'm just selecting over here and I'm just removing this part. And just remove this, remove this. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, right. So let me show you the output first, and I will show you how the align item will is going to work on your web page. Okay, guys. So I have just removed the flex basis also. I guess. Let's just give a space uh, width to it, okay? Over here. I'm just giving a flex. This is over here. It is your, for example, 100 pixels. Okay, guys. And. Okay, guys. So now we are going to work with your align items, okay? So what align going to go into? Uh, sorry, align self. Align self. And it has the same properties as your align item has the flex edge, flex start and flex uh, your center so I'm just uh, giving my what, which item is this? this is your item 1 and this is an ordering tree so for now guys just I'm just removing this my name there okay sorry just left leave that uh, this is my item 1 and this is an ordering tree so ordering tree is okay ordering tree is this so I'm just going to give a shape to it okay so, first item is your food. One just have to specify the food. One, okay, this is your food. So I have to come over here, and I have to give a property of align self, which is your flex end. And now you can see it has come towards the bottom side, and I just want this to be uh, present over there only. This is by the body is the center. So I'm not going to of your fist element so I'm just changing it to align self to center only and the 
your item one item two also to the center item two yeah this is all to be center align item uh, and self to the your center to center so you can see nothing changes over there okay and now I want to make my I want to just take this uh, one to the top and just this three to the bottom for writing the alphabet A for example so I can just uh, as this is my item one item one with where item one so I want to just take it to top to flex start so you can see now my item one is on the top and I'm just giving a shape of the pyramid to it okay and the last one where it is okay over here so I have to give it the align self to the flex end Okay guys, so now you can see it in, oh, oh sorry guys, uh, I might have changed the, your, okay, sorry guys, I have to make this to center, and the fourth, last item is your, three, so where is three, okay, this. so I have to change it to flex center, flex end, okay, so now it will be look, okay, now you can see it is the shape of your pyramid item. So in this way you can play with your layout items on your web page and this, that's all in this video guys I hope you guys uh, like the complete tutorial and understand the concept of your flexbox so uh, that's all in this video guys and you can just leave a like for and do comment and do subscribe to our channel and tell me what the problem you face in while watching this tutorial guys please comment after watching the videos because if comments will motivate me and I can know my mistakes in the videos. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.